Hello, today's a very special episode of Sportsman's Unlimited. We got a new blood coming <laughs> to the team, and we're going to let him go ahead and show us one of his rifles, and uh, we'll do a head to head to it later this week against my AR. See how that goes. Initiation day. <laughs> Thanks all! <laughs> hey guys, this is John Silva with uh, Valley Sportsman Unlimited. And today we're going to be unboxing my uh, Stoger M3500 for the first time here. And, uh, go. Got a user manual here. And here's the rifle. Now that'd be a hell of a charging hammer. <laughs> Too bad it's not. So, pretty simple. Uh, overall, right now, it looks pretty good. I really like the the Max 5 camo. It's pretty neat. Uh, it's not... Well, I don't have the barrel on it right now, but obviously it's not too heavy. And it's it comes pretty wet, it looks like. They really oil the hell out of these things. So let's put this aside. Get the barrel out here. Apparently, you got to be smarter than the box. I went with uh, the 28 inch barrel. Uh, you can get them in three different sizes. You can get them in, uh, what is it, 20, uh, 20, 26 inch, 28 inch, and 30 inch. 30 inch is more for the skeet shooting. Where do you do that? There's no 30 inch. 28 is the longest. No, there's a 30 no, inch. Not. Yes, there is. There is not. Yes, there is. Who cares? Leave them alone. <laughs> well, we're and there's four duck shooting anyways. Hey. It really is the longest. 26. No, no, no. There's a 30. I talked. I saw the damn gun in there. No. Yeah. Say no. Say no. Say no. No. Say yeah. Yeah. Say no. Cue it. This is what Google's for, kids. Uh, pretty light. I like the, uh, if you can see right here, it's got the uh, uh, fiber optic uh, bead. I like that. It's neat. Three barrel links, 24, 26, and 28. Well, it looks like I was wrong. On the M3500s. All right, let's see what's in this other box. Okay, so here we go. We got our chokes here. This looks like the, this is the full. This is the, looks like the modified. Oh, okay. Oh, here's, uh, you know what? Stoger comes with a, with three different chokes and they, they even give you a turkey choke too. That's pretty neat. And I'm guessing that this piece right here is part of their uh, recoil system that you put in the stock. It's like a counter a counterweight uh, that you have to install yourself. It's optional. It obviously puts more weight on the on the gun, but it might be worth it. You have some shims here and your choke tool. So really the main reason why I kind of purchased, what I thought about purchasing this gun and what really got me interested in it is because I can go from two and uh, two and uh, three fours to uh, a three and a half and uh, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean the utility of it from going from the smallest load to the biggest load and have that versatility for hunting. It's pretty neat. All right, so let's uh, put this thing together. And like my friend here, I don't need no stupid instructions to put a shotgun together. I'll take this off. Buddy thinks there's a such thing as a 30 inch barrel. Shut up, dude, why are you running this? <clears throat> I ain't rich, but I 
damn sure won't be Working like a dog all day ain't working for me I wish I had a rich uncle that'd kick the bucket And I was sitting on a pile like Warren Buffett I know everybody says money can't buy happiness But it can buy me a boat it can buy me a truck to pull It can buy me a Yeti 110 ice down with some silver bullets Yeah, and I know what they say Money can't buy everything well, maybe so But it can buy me a boat Function test real quick. Here we go for a second. Looks like it's flush. It's clear, so we're safe. We de dangered the gun. That's how you lock the bolt back, and bolt releases right there, like any other shotgun. Uh, overall feel of it, I mean, the trigger isn't anything special. It looks like it just gets the job done, but I kind of like the trigger guard because it gives quite a bit, if you can see, it gives quite a bit of gap, so if you're wearing gloves on your hands, you have a lot of room, wiggle room, to get your finger in there if you really want to get get in there quickly to pull the trigger. So, kind of like that. Oh, another cool thing about this gun is you put a ghost round in it. Uh, so normally you can chamber two in the tube and one in the chamber. Well, you can actually ghost round this one because the the uh, grab sits lower and it's it's stationary. It doesn't move up. So this piece never moves up. So you can actually put two in the tube, one in the chamber, and then ghost round one in the in in uh, underneath underneath the tube. So it's pretty neat. Show you how to do that in the next video when we go out and shoot it. But yeah, that's the uh, M3500. I like the way it feels. Uh, it's, it's not light, but it's not heavy. If, if that makes any sense, uh, its shoulders pretty good. It's, uh, I think it'll be a good, it'll be a good, uh, bird gun, that's for sure. Um, I really wanted it because, actually for the price, for a semi-automatic shotgun, 700, and, 700 bucks, 750 bucks is the retail on it, and for a decent shotgun that's, chambered all the way to three and a half i think that's that's a pretty good steal so we'll see how it shoots and uh thank you for watching uh thanks for the uh invite on valley sportsman unlimited and uh don't forget to subscribe i should have been a cowboy i should have learned to roll around wearing my six Jesse James.